welcome to the Scuba Made YouTube channel. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, this uh, video will be trying to put a fuel pump in the Beamer. I've never done that before, so uh, see how I go. I've put fuel pumps in the Sylvia before, but yeah, I haven't done a fuel pump for a while, so I'll show you what I got here. It's a, it's called TI Automotive now, but I believe it's just an, an old Walboro. Yeah, TI Automotive. Anyway, it's a 460 litre per hour pump apparently. This tool I had to get, uh, which hopefully can get the thing off to get to the fuel pump without damaging it. I've got some gloves here so that, that they're fuel resistant, nit nitrile or whatever it's called, gloves. I've got a new filter for the bottom of the pump. I've already got the seats all forward. I think the fuel pump's down there. Oh, hang on, my seat's trying to move because it thinks I'm trying to get in. Part of the comfort access, I guess. The seat changes to your key. So I'll start by getting that seat out. I think it's as simple as popping this up. Something. Oh, yeah, there we go. The fuel pump say, should be under here. So this little bit of carpet looks like it comes up. Oh, what's it getting stuck on? Oh, oh maybe it goes that way. All right, so that goes that way. And let's get this off and have a look. It's just a 10 mil on there. Hey, there we go. There's a fuel pump in there somewhere. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty dirty down in there. Might be time to go and put my gloves on. And, uh, to get these plugs out, you just uh, hit those two tabs in. Two tabs at the side there, they push in. They came off super easily, so that was good. And that's off, so now we can get that out of the way. That looks better, it's nice and clean now. I've put my ratchet in there to try and pop this off. Then I've lined up these to try and suit these little dents in this thing. And if you can see there, there's little dents. I don't know, it's a bit strange looking. It's metal, it's not plastic. Yeah, there we go. Right. That looks like it comes off pretty easily. And then, to get this other bit off so I got to just stick my screwdriver down in here and push on that and that pops that one off so I just push down in that bit to get that one off pop it out of the way get this out of there oh I didn't I meant I meant to tell you earlier my fuel's almost empty so I haven't drained the tank or anything Actually, I think at this stage, I'm supposed to go and run the car so it runs out of fuel <laughs> and then disconnect the battery. Yeah, maybe that's what I better go and do. There we go. Ran out of fuel. <laughs> you can see my tank's almost empty, if you can see that. Okay, now we're just gonna take the negative terminal off the battery which will be this one just here. That's a 10 mil. And that way the fuel pump won't fire up or anything and yeah, I'm sure it'll be good. And now um, that looks like it has to come off. So we might just pop that off. Oh, there we go. It's just a tab in there, push down on that. <coughs> that one out. Oh, okay, these look like this same plug, are they? Hmm. Guess we gotta remember what side they came out from. Way out. What else have we got to do here? Okay, so I got those two vent lines off. They came off real easy. Just get them out of the way. Now I'm just trying to get this clip off the fuel pump, which 
is proving to be a little bit difficult. Oh, there we go. Far out, that was difficult as. Why was that so hard? That seemed like it was way harder than it needed to be. Oh. Anyway, that's, that's that out. I just had to push that bit in, but it was really hard. It should be ready to come out now. Straight into this bucket, I guess. I'll try and tip as much fuel out as I can. Tip some of the fuel back in there. There we go. Alrighty, that's out. That wasn't too bad. Alrighty, let's go and get all this on a bench. There we go. Pop that off without damaging this. So let's pop this little sender right out. Just undo the little wiring harness here. Slide that out. There we go. Okay, we don't want to damage that, so probably going to want to keep to use this plug, but I'm going to have to get it onto the new fuel pump somehow, and I'm going to have to get this out of here. If you can see in there, it's a bit of gunk and stuff in there, so I'll clean that all up. And uh, yeah, what's that? there's like a little thing down there and everything. Interesting. I believe this plastic thing, I have to break it to get it out. Okay, so it sort of just breaks off, but you gotta be a little bit careful. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Let's step it out. A little bit fell off it. Yeah, a little bit fell off just there, no big deal. Alright, now the fuel pump. Yeah, there's another look down in there. Hmm. Okay, if you don't want to break this thing, don't do it like I just did. But anyway, it, that's how you get it out. That'll need a bit of a clean. I believe we want to keep this bit too. So, a little bit different. Don't know how this bit's gonna go, but we'll see. Yeah, I guess apart from probably these little wires here, I don't really need this. Yeah, I'll just go and give this bit a wash. Yeah, that's all nice and clean as you can see now and i'm just gonna like test fit this pump in there oh the, yeah and pop this bit on so i believe that goes on like that i've already got that little bit on there and then this bit oh there's a <laughs> there's a bit in there okay that should go on there that's on there now should be good Nice new filter. So, how's this going here? That all looks pretty snug down in there. Pop this back in. Okay, I'm gonna have a go. I've got these little, I've never used them before, but I hope they're all right to use in the fuel tank. And they just like, they just slide over here and slide over there. And you get that little solder bit in the middle. Yeah, where are you? There. And then you just gotta heat it up and it shrinks and it solders it and it, they seem to work pretty good. I've never used them before. I just got these the other day. So let's have a go. Obviously red is red. Uh, positive and the black and the brown is negative. Yeah. 
Yeah, if you can see the bit I'm using, yeah, it's just like a right angle and then this end just goes in here. I think I've got it all back together. I've angled this out that way because I think it can plug in like that. And I haven't put the clips all back in yet because they're a little bit difficult to get out. So I'll leave it till it's back in the car. But I think that's all ready to go. I just should mention quickly, this is that, I think PTFE it's called. It's the ethanol fuel pipe. It's braided and I got my little hose clamp things on there pretty tight so it's not they're so tight it doesn't even move anymore so that should be fine. That's low enough, I hope. So we can fit in there. And let's go and pop it back in. Okay, so the plan will be to plug this back in. It it was going straight down before, but I'll try and get it at an angle like this to plug it into there on that angle. That's that should work, and then the, these other two breather hoses just go back in where they were before, and then this one goes to the top. Looks pretty straightforward, so let's try and get it in there. Okay, that all that all went on pretty easy. Uh, if you can see in there, I got that clipped up on that slight angle there. I got those two back on. This one's just waiting to go in the top there. I plugged that little bit that holds it together back in. Plug that in. Plug that in. Well, that's gone back in. All good. And I managed to get the other end of that in. So I guess it's time to put that lock ring back in. Plug this in. Tighten it up. Hook it all up. Put the battery back in. And uh, see if it starts, I suppose. I just did everything pretty much in reverse order. Got it all plugged back in, got that on nice and tight. I'm just gonna leave this off and uh, just put the battery back on and start it up. So in case anything's not working, I'll find it out now rather than putting everything back together and finding it out. All right, let's try and start it. Well. Your pump's not even that noisy. I don't know, it looks alright. Why don't we take it for a drive? Maybe go and get some E85. <laughs> Alright, that's everything back together. I, I've chucked a fire extinguisher in there now, just in case, because I've been playing with fuel and I wouldn't want something stupid to happen and then lose the whole car because I didn't have a little fire extinguisher. So anyway, it's just a precaution. <laughs> I hope I don't need it. Yeah, that's everything back together. I can run the uh, e E50 mix now. So yeah, the, I just put a little bit of E85 in and the guys down at the servo were awesome. So it was good to, good to meet you and if you're watching, <laughs> I gave him some stickers, which is pretty cool. And the car ran awesome, like it warmed up by the time. And when I came back, it was running awesome. So I just put the spark plugs in it the other day. Yeah, still deciding what I'll do next. But um, I guess if you liked the video, leave us a like. And if you've got any questions, leave us a comment. And feel free to uh, subscribe and share the video around if you want. Uh, stay tuned for more. I'll be doing something else real soon. Can't think of exactly what right now, but I'll figure it out eventually so yeah thanks very much for watching that's the uh, new fuel pump and uh yeah i can go for a bit more power now that i've upgraded the fuel pump that's it i mentioned it at the start but it's a uh, old wall probe it's called ti automotive or something it's a 460 liter per hour intake pump so uh hopefully it works good <laughs> anyway i just put it in so it will be keeping an eye on it from from here out so yeah stay tuned thanks very much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye bye